Now I could solve this mismatch problem by using an 18 volt bulb. I've just worked out that um, an 18 volt bulb would have a resistance of uh, about 15 ohms and that much more closely matches the 17 ohms of the solar panel. But 18 volt bulbs are not common um, and to try and find an 18 volt 21 watt bulb or 20 watt bulb is not going to be possible but I did discover that this torch has an 18 volt bulb in it because it's designed to run from a cordless power tool battery and this is an 18 volt 0.6 amp bulb which equates to 10.8 watts so if I had two of these bulbs I could kind of do it and interestingly inside the housing of this torch there is a spare bulb so it's very tempting I could put an 18 volt bulb on the solar panel and get a really good match but it's not really the way to go because solar panels vary their current as the light level changes so if the Sun went behind a cloud I'd be sort of having to look for ever more exotic voltage bulbs with different voltage and current ratings it's not going to happen what I, what I need to find is an electronic solution to this problem and that's what I'm going to look at next so what we need is a transformer we need to transform the voltage of the solar panel which at maximum power point is 18 volts down to the voltage that the bulb requires which is 12 volts and at the same time transform up the current it's about 1 amp on the panel 1050 milliamps was on the label on the back and the bulb as we know needs 1.75 amps and in an AC circuit you'd use one of these this is a transformer and these things have been used for years to uh, do exactly that transform voltage down current up but that's an AC circuit and solar panels are DC so we're gonna have to use something a bit more sophisticated and that is this this is a DC to DC converter and it does the same job as the transformer but to DC power so let's hook it up and see what it does so here's the DC to DC converter rigged up now it's being powered by the solar panel um, I can't see the voltage uh, coming in at the moment but the converter is switched off and I've set the output parameters to 11.9 well 12 volts uh, out and 1.75 amps out because that's what the bulb requires so let's switch it on and see what happens right well, the bulb is glowing very dimly switch it off again I'll switch it on again it goes bright but then it drops back to dim so the DC to DC converter is uh, not happy with those settings and it's dropping out so let's see if we can find some settings that it is happy with so I've had a setting that the converter is happy with and you can see that the bulbs quite bright now much brighter than it was and that is at 9.5 volts but 1.5 amps so we've got the current uh, nearly where we want it, we can't quite get the voltage to where we want it. If I go any higher it um, just drops back into that um, situation where it's not converting properly. But you can see we've got 15 watts coming out now and that's considerably more than we were getting uh, when we had the bulb connected directly to the solar panel. So the DC to DC converter is doing its job but of course this type of converter isn't designed for matching a solar panel to a bulb so it's it's not the perfect piece of equipment for doing this um, and uh, we'd have to build our own uh, device in order to to do that one thing for example that this converter isn't doing is it's not uh, trying to optimize the voltage on the solar panel we can measure the voltage on the solar panel and see how close it is I'll do that now and that's pretty good we've got 17.8 um, volts on the solar panel, I'm just measuring it there on the input as it goes into the converter. So 17 and a half volts in, nine and a half volts out, 
we're running 15 watts through the bulb. It's much brighter than it is uh, if you connect it directly to the solar panel. So the DC to DC converter is performing uh, the function that we want it to perform. It's just not optimized for um, getting maximum power into the bulb. Also, the other thing, of course, is that it's fairly early morning. Well, it's about half past 10. And uh, so we're not getting full strength sun. So I'm not surprised that we're only seeing 14.8 watts instead of uh, the full 20 watts. I think that's a success.